the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there was no time, no minute in his life that was not spent in goodness. And he's our role model. We are supposed to do that. We're supposed to follow that. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said about himself, he says, Istaghfirullah, fa inni la astaghfirullah fil yawm akthara min sabina marra. He says, seek forgiveness from Allah. Seek Allah's pardon. I seek forgiveness. I ask Allah for forgiveness more than 70 times a day. And that's the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He used to spend his night as much as possible of it, praying, standing up in prayer. Aisha radiallahu anha was asked, كيف كان يوم رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قالت كان يكون في خدمة أهله How was the Prophet ﷺ during the day? He was in the service of his family. That's the Prophet ﷺ. There is no avenue of, of good except that he invested in it. He was always responsive to every situation, being true to Allah in every second of his life. And we are supposed to be like that. Despite all of this, he held himself accountable. He held himself accountable. We are supposed to hold ourselves accountable. We are the ones who need it the most. Because we are the ones who keep slipping. And that's normal because we're humans. All of the sons of Adam err. All of us fall in error. All of us are going to slip. All of us have moments of weakness. That's normal. And that's why we are supposed to keep ourselves in check and pick ourselves up and fix our mistakes. Make amends all the time. Keep doing. That's the process of this life. That's the process of devotion. There's no perfection there. And if you're expecting perfection, you're not coming from the right place. You're a human being. You, you, it's inevitable that you will fall in mistakes. And Allah likes that you, that Allah likes that we can, because He created you upon that. Not because He wants you to be weak, but He knows when you are weak and when you fall, you have a golden opportunity of fixing things and making amends and making it back to Allah, making a bigger leap than you would have had there been no sin at all or no mistake at all. And that's how humans, that's, that's, that's the, the hallmark of humans. And that's why the Prophet ﷺ says, وَالَّذِي نَفْسِي بِيَدِهِ لَوْ لَمْ تُذْنِبُوا لَدَهَبَ اللَّهُ بِكُمْ وَجَاءَ بِقَوْمٍ يُذْنِبُونَ فَيَسْتَغْفِرُونَ فَيَغْفِرُ اللَّهُ لَهُمْ By Allah, he says, if you don't fall in sin, if you become so perfect like the angels, Allah would remove you. And He would bring a people who would fall in error, who would sin, so that they could seek His forgiveness, they could repent to Him, and then He would forgive them. Allah wants to forgive. And that doesn't mean we seek sins, because this weakness is going to catch us on the, blind, on the blind side. It will catch us off God, because it's our nature, so we don't seek it. But we handle it without you know, butchering our self-esteem. I'm a bad person, I did this, I did that, I can't keep my promise with Allah. No, that's, your, that's what it means to be a human being. But the most important thing is to keep yourself in check. Inspect the different areas of your life, public, private, every aspect of your religion. Are you in a state of submission to Allah or are you someone who's trying to mess around? Are you being picky and choosy? Or are, you, are you submitting to yourself or are you submitting to Allah? You have to submit to one of them. Are they your desires or your Lord? Make sure you are submitting to Allah, especially in the areas where you have a liking towards something, where you have an interest in something. Because when we have an interest, when we have a desire, it messes with our brain, messes with our thinking. We start finding means round. We start finding tricks. We start looking for concessions, playing games. So that's why you need to be the most strict. Why? Not because we have to be strict. Because we want to keep ourselves in check and make sure we don't get pulled out of the way that leads us to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us upon the straight path and to open our eyes to our mistakes and to help us fix them 